my students how are you i hope that all are doing well today we are coming to the new lesson linear motion linear motion means motion of a body in a straight line right <clears throat> or we can say that one dimensional motion we can speak what is one dimensional motion when a body moves in a straight line it is called one dimensional motion right there are so many examples of one dimensional motion we can cite a car moving on the road is a one dimensional motion right a train moving on the rail tracks is an example of one dimensional motion right so in one dimensional motion if you attach a frame of reference with a body it's only one coordinate will change suppose the body is moving along the x axis the value of the x coordinate only will be changing and the other coordinates will be always equal to zero right what is the frame frame of reference frame of reference is a coordinate system of consisting of x axis y axis and z axis right if a body moves in moves in one dimensional motion or body is executing one dimensional motion its only one coordinate will be changing suppose the body is moving along the x axis the distance along the x axis only is changing the y coordinate value and z coordinate value will remain equal to zero right suppose the body is moving along y axis direction then x coordinate is that is a coordinate will be equal to zero and y value of y of the body will be changing this is what is called a one dimensional motion and also you got another idea what is called frame of reference frame of reference is the coordinate system consisting of x axis this y axis and z axis the x axis and y axis if they are in the plane in a plane and the z axis is in the space upwards right if we stand at the corner of a table then one side of the corner horizontal side is x axis other uh, on uh, other side of the um, uh, table is uh, y axis and at the corner if we erect a line upwards that will be z axis so this is the condition so there are so many definitions we have discussed in this topic one definition the first definition that comes is displacement so displacement is the shortest distance moved by a body between two points is called a displacement suppose a body is moving from a to c through b as shown in the figure right so initial position is a and the final position is c but the body moves through another point is uh, another point b the total distance traveled by the body is uh, ab plus ac but displacement is equal to ac why because displacement is the shortest distance traveled by the body between two points right the total distance traveled by the body i told you that is ab plus bc but displacement is equal to vector ac displacement no doubt is a vector quantity is denoted by vector sign on the top because the body is traveling from a to c distance the travel of body between two points may be either equal or greater than displacement distance traveled cannot be zero but displacement can be zero that can be positive that can be negative but distance traveled by if a body moves sir, the distance traveled will be a positive quantity there is no negative distance travel distance travel is always positive but displacement can be positive negative or zero why because it is a vector quantity there is an origin from which the body is traveling from the origin if the body travels along the x axis the displacement is increasing right if the body travels in the opposite direction the displacement is decreasing suppose a body is traveling from the origin and comes back to the origin itself then displacement is equal to zero if it goes in the negative x axis direction right then the displacement can be negative also displacement can be negative displacement can be positive displacement can be zero all these things can be uh, there with the, the physical quantity of displacement distance traveled will be always positive right distance traveled will be always greater than or equal to displacement when is the distance traveled equal to displacement if a body moves in a perfect straight line then distance traveled is equal to displacement right in this case so the distance traveled is greater than displacement most of the time distance traveled is greater than displacement displacement is the total the shortest distance traveled if the unit in the si system is meter 
Distance travel is also measured using the same unit and meter, right? And it is denoted by the letter S. Vector displacement is denoted by the letter vector S. Vector S is denoting the displacement of a body. Displacement in this case is single vector S, right? Because the body is traveling from A to C. That means initial point is A and the final point is C. So the shortest distance between initial and final point of the motion of a body is called it's a displacement vector AC. When the body moves from A to C, suppose the body is moving from C to A through B, then the displacement is equal to CA. CA is not equal to AB, but CA is equal to minus AC. Why? Because displacement is a vector quantity. Vectors and scalars we have discussed already. Displacement, all these things, right? So displacement can be zero, positive or negative. In linear motion, displacement is equal to distance traveled. So this is about displacement. Now I am going to explain you speed. So speed is the time rate of change of distance traveled by a body is called a speed. Time distance traveled by a body. Time rate of change of distance traveled by a body is called it's a speed. Right? Speed is also a physical quantity. Right? That is denoted by a small letter V, right? So from my voice itself, you will write the notes. Time rate of change of distance traveled by a body is called speed. Time rate of change. Time rate of change means rate of change of distance traveled by a body. That means total distance traveled by total time, right? <coughs> so the speed is equal to Total distance by total time, right? Or the distance traveled by time taken by the body, speed. Speed is denoted by the small letter V is equal to distance traveled. Distance traveled divided by, divided by time taken. Time taken. Uh, that is V is equal to S by T V term, right? S is the distance traveled. If I write vectors, then that is displacement. It's very, very simple. And also it's a scalar quantity. Speed is a scalar quantity. It uh, is a scalar quantity. What's a scalar quantity? That needs only magnitude for its uh, specification. So the the, the the direction is uh, not necessary for uh, explaining speed. And it's uh, dimensions, the uh, dimension also taught you. Dimensions of speed, uh, dimensions of speed uh, is equal to distance is uh, measured in, uh, that is S by T. S means distance, distance is L and the time is T. Can you write uh, the dimension of a physical quantity? At least three uh, symbols will be there, mass, length and time. Therefore, this is equal to m raised to 0, l raised to 1, and t raised to minus 1. This is speed. Right? Then, <coughs> what is the variable speed and uniform speed we have to, uh, we have to uh, write? Uh, uh, uniform speed. Okay. Next is, first is, next is uniform speed. Right? Next definition is uh, uniform speed. Uniform speed and the variable speed we have discussed. First is uniform speed. So if a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, then the motion is said to be having uniform speed. So what I said, equal distances in equal intervals of time. Right? Okay. This is what you call uniform speed. So body can move in any direction, no problem, because speed is a scalar quantity that does not need any particular direction. Any direction the body can move. In the whole motion of the body, how much distance the body has moved in unit time, that is what is called, uh, if it is equal in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be moving to uniform speed. Right? Next is variable speed. Second is variable. So this lesson is full of definitions only. Variable speed. If a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or equal distances in unequal time, 
then the body is said to be moving with a variable speed. So equal distances and equal interruption of time or unequal distances and sorry, equal distances and unequal time, then the body is said to be moving with a, a variable speed, right? When variable speed, a body is moving with variable speed, uh, the speed of the body is changing at every instant. So we cannot actually fix so this is the uh, uh, speed of the body. Generally, we cannot fix it. In that condition, we calculate a physical quantity called uh, uh, instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed, at a particular instant, when you look at the body, what is the speed of the body? That is what's instantaneous speed of the body. So instantaneous speed of the body is given by instantaneous. Instantaneous. Instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed means sir, a small displacement divided by small time is called instantaneous speed. So instantaneous speed is calculated only when the body is moving with variable speed. That means unequal distances the body covers in equal intervals of time. At a different times, uh, at a different instance, so its speed is different. Then for a particular instant of time when you watch the moving body, what is the speed of the body? That is called instantaneous speed. It is given by instantaneous speed given by delta S by delta G. Right? Now, limiting situation, that means so limit delta T tends to zero. Delta S by delta T is called ds by dt also rate. That is equal to which? V means uh, instantaneous speed for, for that also we can use the same letter V is equal to ds by dt. This is instantaneous. Well, remember that when a body is moving with a uh, variable speed, then only we will calculate uh, calculate what? The instantaneous speed of the body, right? So when the body moves with the uh, uh, variable speed, sometimes uh, we would calculate average speed also. Average speed means the total distance of travel to the body divided by the total time. So if a particle is moving, uh, moving in a certain direction or any direction, uh, and it travels yes on distance, uh, yes on distance, uh, yes on distance uh, with velocity v uh, with the speed v one, yes two distance with the speed v two, and yes three distance uh, with the speed v three, etc., etc., then average speed of the body can be calculated. So this average speed and instantaneous speed, both these quantities we welcome when the body is executing uh, its motion with the variable speed. When a body is moving with various spe variable speed, then only we will calculate these two quantities. One is instantaneous speed and other is called average speed. So average speed is equal to Average speed is equal to total distance. Total distance divided by total time. If the body is moving a distance yes one with the speed v one, and a distance yes two with the speed v two, and a distance yes three with the distance uh, with the speed v three, then total distance travelled is equal to yes one plus yes two plus yes three plus etc, etc, etc. Right? Time taken for these distances is equal to, because first part S1 is traveling with the velocity V1. Therefore T1 is equal to, therefore time taken, time taken is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3. What is T1 plus T2 plus T3? T1 is equal to what? Distance by speed, that is S1 by V1. And plus, uh, this is what? Uh, T2 is equal to S2 by V2 plus T3 is equal to what? S3 divided by V3 plus etc. etc. This is the total time. That means the first part or first distance S1 is traveling with the velocity V1. Therefore, distance traveled by speed is equal to time taken. Distance traveled by speed is equal to what? Uh, <coughs> is equal to time taken. So for first part, the time taken is T1. T1 is equal to S1 by V1. Why S1 by V1? Remember that. Distance traveled divided by speed is equal to time taken. Okay. Or uh, speed is equal to speed. V is equal